For at TV, the world is thinking. In terms of stuff, I just have to own less stuff and make it last 10 times as long. Or um, sometimes I call this the, uh, the Rolex and Mont Blanc pen approach to life. So that just, sound, that just made me sound like a pretentious wanker. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not. I'm a deep green environmentalist. And what you want is when your child is born or when you are born to be issued with a Rolex and a Mont Blanc pen. And that's the only writing implement, and the only timepiece you get for your whole life. Right? So we solved just now for writing and, and time reading, but how about cell phones? So I think this is actually kind of a great challenge, right? How do you make it, the first company that makes a cell phone that will last a lifetime uh, totally wins in my heart. That would be the most amazing uh, for everyone in the audience who just got laid off. Please go and start a company to make a cell phone that lasts 100 years. That would be the best thing you can do. Um, all right, I'm not sure why that slide's there. Oh, that was a point about... Um, oh, okay, now this is every business model you need for the next century. Pick any piece of that pie, do it with one-tenth the amount of power, or make something that's ten, that will last ten times longer, and you've just done your bit to save the world. You, this is, when people talk about the green economy, you know, a quarter of the energy we use is just in our crap. Just go after this. Just take any one of those things and make it a better product, and, and you're saving us. Um, Ironically, we used to have drinks in the fridge at my energy company called Energy Drinks. They have, um, they have a nutrition label that we're used to seeing, and ironically, we have a 2,000 know, calorie per day diet is what we aim for. If you weigh the plastic of the container of that material, just assume that the water in it and the, the sugar comes for free, but just the plastic in the, in the bottle and the lid and the cellulose in the label, if you weigh those up, and you figure out the embodied energy to make that and how much it would take to refrigerate it and transport to you. If you had a 2,000 watt lifestyle, drinking one of these per day would be 4.5% of your daily value. I think you would look at every product you ever consumed extremely differently if we had this labeling on all products. Um, I'm sure you would choose a glass of wine each day rather than, uh, at least I would. <laughs> 